Hello, hello friends. Uh, if you want to, to get new video or new technology and what about the machinery, so please uh, open our uh, machine maintenance training uh, on YouTube and here to come to the subscribe and push subscribe and push uh, bell icon, bell icon with uh, all. So you have subscribed. Now when we will upload new video, so that time you will get notification and you can watch easily. Thank you. Hello everyone. Last time we told you about the power pack. Now this time we uh, joined this uh, output line of your manifold to heat exchanger and uh, return line to the drain in tank. And also we have uh, told you about the circuit of this. Now this time we will verify all the uh, all circuit of this so how it will be work we will talk, we will tell you here and uh, we will give we will provide our uh, previous video uh, regarding this uh, your circuit how to make the circuit uh, we will uh, provide in our description also so here uh, yeah, please watch everything in with carefully with patience because now we are starting a lesson how to make a program in PLC in past in future and uh, also here you can see now that uh, this is the MPCV the three phase line red uh, uh, yellow blue and black and this is MPCV motor protection and this is the contactor and this is the three phase wire motor this is the motor that uh, power pack motor we are talking about this power pack motor here to, uh, for uh, controlling to control this motor so we, we are fixing here one control uh, one contactor and coil of this contactor is 24 volt dc so how we will operate this so how we will run this motor you can uh, you can learn here that uh, first we have to uh, we have to arrange tw 24 volt dc so uh, we will take one power supply 24 volt dc ac to dc and zero dc uh, we will connect direct to our contactor coil one coil a2 and uh, uh, second when uh, the, uh, we, we fix one fuse here and after fixing the fuse we have to fix here one push button as well as we will push this button so supply will enter in the coil and con uh, coil will be on so that means that supply will be on to uh, in your motor also so motor will be done if we uh, left this button uh, push button as we leave this button so that time motor will be stopped automatically so we cannot hold our motor our push button uh, for a long time so how we will create that circuit because we need to start this motor and this circuit also so first this circuit only that uh, only push the button so you can uh, hold this and uh, uh, here we are uh, telling you in full detail from beginning here next step so how we will uh, start this motor continuously so we have to change here that end of this contactor we will fix in the uh, parallel of uh, line and one push button when we want to uh, uh, stop this motor so one push button for that here you can see that uh, uh, when we will push on button so that time contactor will be on so and no and no means that the normal open point uh, will be closed so that time uh, power supply come with this point to our uh, contactor coil this will be open when as well we will uh, leave our uh, uh, this switch so but uh, but line uh, but current will be will be, will be continued in this line so it will be uh, hold when we will uh, push this button this is a stop button nc position now this time so that time your motor will be uh, stop so this is for, for your hard leg motor so so when we, we we want to start and when we we want to stop next step next step is for your our this wall two wall this is our motor you can see the motor circuit 24 volt uh, dc we have taken and this is we remove only contact uh, uh, diagram here you can see that uh, we, uh, we remove this only so now this power part is uh, as well as before and here you can have 24 volt dc 
ऑन पुश बटन ऑन पुश बटन रिले फॉर वन रिले फॉर वन वी फिक्स या टू रिले टू रिले मीन्स वन रिले फॉर अवर दिस पोर्सन एंड वन रिले फॉर दिस पोर्सन सो वैन वी विल पुश दिस दिस पुश बटन सो दैट टाइम करंट विल बी कम एंड आर वन विल बी ऑन आर वन मीन्स दैट मास्टर कॉइल सो आर वन एज वेल एज आर वन विल बी ऑन सो दैट टाइम आर वन आर वन विल बी ऑन एंड आल्सो योर अप साइड दिस साइड विल बी ऑन सो फॉर दिस दिस मीन्स दैट वाल दैट यू कैन सी वन वाल टू कॉइल एंड सिंगल कॉइल मास्टर वाल ही है सो आर वन वैन आर वन विल बी ऑन दैट टाइम योर मास्टर वाल विल गेट द सप्लाई एंड आल्सो दैट अप पोजिशन ऑफ योर सिलेंडर दैट इसमें इट मीन्स दैट वैन इट करंट विल बी कम दैट टाइम बिकॉज मोटर इज ऑन नाउ तो दैट टाइम योर प्रेशर विल बी कम हियर इन द येलो कलर लाइन and your uh, your cylinder will go upside and uh, when will push uh, your uh, this button that r r2 this is the r coil r coil means uh, your downside so when we will push r2 so that time your master valve as well as master valve uh, current will get and also that that side uh, other side will get the current not uh, not uh, this side only this side because here you can see the r1 for up and r relay uh, r2 for down only but when r1 uh, uh, will be on that time uh, current will be go in master and also one side of your this wall moving wall and when will push uh, down button r2 so that time uh, supply will come into master wall and also that down side of this uh, other coil wall So what is the means of this? That we have taken the two coil, we can um, uh, two relay. We can uh, give the supply in uh, uh, master valve for one and uh, uh, for uh, other for one relay. But we have to uh, operate same time two valves. Here we uh, we want to uh, move function accordingly to our master valve. So when we 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 want to supply in, we want to move our cylinder. that time need supply in wall and master wall also so because we can use only one wall that center open wall to move this up and down and we can reduce the pressure in our uh, pump uh, to save pump but uh, our target that we will fix here one uh, another wall and we will make uh, more function to start our machine so we have fixed one master wall here you have to watch our previous video to know about circuit and also hydraulic also you can uh, check there so that is the, the, that uh, here one thing is here suppose your cylinder is up, upside down and uh, no command to get that uh, uh, cylinder this his uh, their position so that time uh, pressure will be on pump more pressure so uh, uh, what we have to do that we, we can fix limit switch for this limit switch means that upside and downside Where, uh, limit switch will be cut so that time uh, your coil will be off suppose uh, uh, your cylinder is going upside and command will get some indication will get uh, so that time your uh, your current will be off this will be off so that time your pressure uh, your uh, this should be in uh, on uh, uh, that uh, nc condition but when it will be on so that time your uh, your press you will uh, your pressure will be cut from uh, valve and uh, pressure will be direct drain to in your tank so we have to fix two valve limit for your distance how uh, we will we can control distance from this uh, this uh, this system also suppose your li uh, limit system uh, 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 is not giving the command and uh, something is problem there and some wire missing or something is there so that time you can uh, set one pressure switch in your hydraulic system also that uh, in this line that pressure line you can fix there uh, one uh, at the line that main line you can fix one uh, pressure switch and you can set the value that of 110 or 100 uh, 
so whatever you have said uh, here uh, previously so upper than that uh, if you require the pressure in your line suppose 80 80k and uh, so you can set your uh, this pressure uh, one time so when uh, pressure will not come uh, in this uh, pressure is going there but system is not uh, moving because the limit is over so that time pressure will be built in the line and the pressure will uh, this pressure uh, switch will cut the supply so you can save your motor and also your pump uh, as well as here one more, more thing you can use your uh, dp here and also that uh, you can see that uh, r1 r2 here so uh, 24 volt dc hardly coil is here so we can start our another portion uh, another view you can see here the hardly motor will rotate when we will push press up or down button so that time we can start our this motor circuit with our r1 and r2 also uh, supply in r1 so that time motor will be on and uh, when the supply will come into r2 that time so we can save the energy here also and when we need the pressure so motor that time that time we can start and when we no, no need to start the motor and no need to pressure in the machine so that time we can stop this and because we have to push uh, r1 and r2 we have to start we can control the circuit push up and push down and limit switch we can make the here so uh, as a relay uh, uh, one uh, relay one will be started so that time current will become and this will be started the supply, uh, supply will come in the pump and pump will be rotated and also the same uh, same system in the downside when we will push so that time current will be and limit switch will be um, we, we, have, we make this uh, limit switch to tell you about this this should be closed only but uh, we mention here that uh, this uh, this should be open but uh, when uh, we will use this this is this will be closed when pressure will be built up that time it will be open here now uh, we are going to next step uh, the, here the, you can see there the pressure switch also that uh, we have to make that uh, not it, that uh, if pressure will be built up in the line and no function is working that time uh, uh, our motor will be safe and also here that uh, this is the last point that r1 and r2 also working here you can see same say, system when we will push r1 and r2 we want to start r1 so that time uh, your pump will be run and when your uh, r2 so that time motor will be run and pressure will be built in your line and also here you can see that same system limit switch here and push button also here but we fix one timer here we will uh, fix the value when we will make the program what is the difference in the plc and control system if we will go the control system manually that time we have to fix many type of uh, many numbers of uh, timer and many uh, uh, many types of the relay and many numbers of so we, uh, plc means that there uh, will be uh, that compact system and the lower cost because uh, if we want to use many type of timer uh, many numbers of motor, so we can use and here you can see that in, in two only start two function to make the two function we are using here two timer uh, how uh, what is the need of this because suppose we have fixed limit switch limit switch or not working that time if we will fix the timing of this suppose we need press will go up uh, in three seconds or three seconds so that time we will fix uh, we will feed the three second in the timer after three second supply will be off in the line so supply will not come and uh, so relay will be off and uh, same thing in downside so this is the protection in the plc we can uh, we can fix we can fade this value for every parameter every distance every working so we can fix that uh, value of that uh, this should be take uh, this should be taken around uh, three minutes two minutes injection time so that is the extra protection of our equipment so that is the so guys i uh, I, uh, I understand that uh, or i think that uh, you learn very well if you uh, have any confusion 
so that time you can give the comment thank you thank you thank you very much